the Chicago Land Speedway, just outside the Windy City, home of today's Tropicana 400 for the NASCAR Winston Cup Series. And we look down on this 930-acre complex from the U.S. Army Skycam, courtesy of the United States Army and Army of One. Okay, all you Earnhardt fans, set up, pay attention. Junior has moved into the second spot and is closing in on the leader, Ryan Newman. And beginning to see some green flag pit stops among the front runners. Jeremy Mayfield was just in, and Tony Stewart is now on pit road. Stewart giving up fifth place to commit for his stop. And Ryan Newman has been very, oh, here we go, battle for the lead. Three, four wide off two. <laughs> Ran up on Jeremy Mayfield coming off the pit lane. And that's Jerry Nadeau in the double zero. Oh, look out, Junior. Got in that corner, did not have a, boy. Didn't have the angle just right getting in the corner. When he got in, he had nowhere to go except up the hill. And luckily, Ryan Newman gave him some room. Bill Elliott is on the pit road. Just lost second place to uh, Earnhardt Jr. a couple laps ago. He's now in. There's Elliott's Dodge. Matt? Bill Elliott comes to a stop. His car was extremely good on entry, but it was tied up off the corner. They're going to make an air pressure adjustment down a half a pound on all three corners except the right rear. Jim Pullman, who indexes the rear tire, is from Oak Lawn, the south side of Chicago. He's captain of his football team. 15 family members are here to see that good stop. Money safe for now. Money safe. Oh, yeah. Joe Nemechek is in. For his pit stop, as Earnhardt Jr. continues trying to put Jerry Nay to a lap down. Ken Schrader, Kenny Wallace, Casey Atwood, Steve Grissom, and Stuart Kirby have all gone laps down already. Marty? And Joni Macek is in, having a terrific run. This is the first car Brian Patty can truly call his own as crew chief. They cut up the body, they took it to the wind tunnel, they tested with it at Kentucky, and so far it is very good. No changes for Joni Macek and four tires. Bill Weber. Brett Rodon is on pit road just a few laps ago. He told his crew he's losing power in the race car. They make a chassis adjustment and a four tire stop. Some of these teams are gonna want two, but most will take four because they need the full load of fuel. We'll see what happens. Brett's still getting service, waiting for that fuel. He's on his way, we go to Burns. And John Andretti comes in, he, he gives up his spot on the track now. They are gonna take on four tires. Remember, John was running hot. They're probably gonna take a little tape off the front. Looks like they go by that move. It must be improving as far as the heat goes. They will change the left side now. Air pressure adjustments only for Andretti. Remember, he was also a little bit tied up off the corner, and now he is off pit lane. Rusty Wallace will be the next of the leaders to come on to pit road. He will be followed in by Todd Bodine. Bill? Rusty on pit road, and as you mentioned, Todd Bodine, Todd Bodine in the 26 right behind him. Rusty and his guys talked about two right side tires and adding a spring rubber. But because the car is so bad tight and because they need full load of fuel, it's going to be four tires and up on the track bar. So Rusty Wallace looking for his first win of the season, got his first top five of the year last week in the Pepsi 400. Long time on the left rear. Rusty's on his way. Marty. Everybody talking about when's Jeff Gordon going to win, Bill? Well, this is the car he last won in at Kansas. It is the same combination, and they're very happy with it right now. Tight all the way through the corner, did Jeff say. They are going to make a chassis adjustment, and it will be four tires for the three-time Winston Cup champion, Jeff Gordon. Bobby Gordon is in. Sterling Marlin is in. Bobby Labonte's ducked down off the racetrack, and he's on the pit lane. There's your championship leader, Marlin. And we go back to Marty. And Sterling Marlin had all the problems, Alan, early on the racetrack. He was very, very tight and no grip, he said. So they're going to go down one pound on all the tires. They will also make a chassis adjustment. Right in front of him, hitting will be Bobby Labonte. The car is very tight. They're going to take a pound out of the right front tire. That should loosen it up just a little bit. But Bobby's still fairly happy with the race car. Ricky Craven also running in the top 15. He, too, is tight. Slides to a stop in his pit stall. They, too, will make a chassis adjustment, trying to loosen him up. To Matt Yoakum. A major wedge adjustment on the one car of Steve Park is the guys are already around to the left side. He said one hitters he had today, he felt like he didn't have enough power down the straight. It was Park stalls it. Park stalls the car. The crew guys are pushing him. He's finally moving down pit road. Dale Jarrett is in. Was up to third place before peeling off for his stop. Still no move to pit road from either of the first two, Earnhardt Jr. or Ryan Newman. Dave Burns. Check that, Marty Snyder. 
and Dale Jarrett was very happy with the car. Just a little bit tight. They will make an adjustment of air pressure to try and fix that. They were very good yesterday morning, and that's the setup they have under the car right now, even though it is a lot hotter. Very quick stop going, especially on the front for Dale Jarrett. It will be a four-tire change in that slight, slight air pressure adjustment for the Winston Cup champion. Allen? Front tour in. Dale Earnhardt Jr. being followed down the pit lane by Brian Newman. 55 miles an hour is the speed limit today on pit road. And the lead is taken over by Michael Waltrip as these two come in. Back to Marty. And this will be an interesting race. These guys one two on the racetrack. They pit also right beside each other on pit road or one pit stall separates the two. Ryan Newman just a little bit tight and it got tighter the longer he ran. They make a track bar adjustment and a wedge adjustment to overcompensate for that track bar adjustment they made. Dale Hart Jr. will go with air pressure just a little bit tight. He says the track is slick and they will win the race off pit road with Ryan Newman by a bunch. The jack fell on the 12 car. Something happened that, and the jack fell. We, Michael Walter is coming down pit road the Napa car to make his pit stop. Announcement made this morning as we talked about in Discover Car Countdown to Green that Napa has signed on with Michael and the DEI team for another couple of years, Matt. And Michael Waltrip also took the grass route on his entrance to pit road. His car was a little bit loose, so they're going to make a wedge adjustment. As they come around to the left side, Chad Walter puts that left rear tire out a little bit slower on the left front. Michael Gaston, he's down and away. To Marty. And Kurt Busch made great progress from the back of the field up into the top 10, Matt, and they made no adjustments. Remember, we told you earlier, this is the California car that led the most laps. It is a very good race car. So far, the engine holding together fine. Dave Burns. Matt Kenseth is in. They're going to go up on the track bar, plus an air adjustment. Four tires for the 17. Remember, he was tight coming up off the corner. He revs the engine high. Matt is ready to go. He is down and out of here with a huge burnout here on pit road. Another award-winning pit stop, Benny Maybe. Those guys have done a terrific job all year long. That's why they got the Golden Benny Award. Check out the entrance to pit road here just a second ago. Michael Waltrip trying to get in off the track for his stop. Trying to slow down from 180-something to 55. He hits pit road. Uh-oh. He missed pit road. He did miss pit road, didn't he? And you know, that's easy to do because you're coming off the racetrack with those hot tires. And you can see right when he gets off the groove there, that's all dirty and slippery. And it's really hard to get the car to turn there. But you know one thing, he can't get caught for speeding in the grass. That's true. There's <laughs> no lines in the grass. Good thinking, Michael. Now some more pit stops. Ricky Rudd, Mike Skinner, Kyle Petty. We've just about gone through the round of guys who didn't stop earlier, Dave. And one would include Ricky Rudd. He did not stop earlier. No chassis adjustments on the car. Not a lot of radio chatter before Ricky came in. Four tires are going to change. And now yelling. They're having a little trouble on the right front. They have a lug nut jam. Bobby Burrell going back over the wall, trying to get the lug nut out of his gun now. He'll head back over, and uh, Ray Holm has jumped in, and he'll put, take off the right, the left front as well. One crew member helping another, but this is a bad, long pit stop for Ricky Rudd. Jimmy Johnson is on pit road. He was one of the guys that stopped earlier under the caution back at uh, lap 18. As a matter of fact, he gives up the lead to come down pit road and make that pit stop. So Kevin Harvick, Mark Martin, Jeff Green, Hutt Strickland, and Jeff Burton go to the top five. Those guys all stopped earlier on that lap 18 yellow. the race leader. He was the first one off pit road. Johnson had passed him, but now Jimmy's come in and pitted again. There's a lot, it looks like on these pit stops, BP, there's a lot of tight race cars. There's a lot of guys trying to loosen their cars up, but also I've seen a lot of tape coming off the front, which that doesn't help because when you take tape off the front to help the engines cool down a little bit, that takes the stick out of the nose. Here comes Harvick to the pits right now. So we're seeing these guys have to come to the pit lane already. They stopped at, what, 18? We are at 72 now. Bill Weber? Alan, they wanted to stay out to lap 74, but the yeah, pace here is so frantic, you just cannot stay out there. The driver's begging to come down pit road. Kevin Harvick got a benefit of coming in two laps earlier than they had planned. This will be a four-tire stop. Want to take one pound out of the left rear tire to improve the handling of a race car. Remember, Harvick, a winner here a year ago, desperately trying to get Richard Childers in this 29 team and his new crew chief, Gil Morton. To victory lane. A great pit stop for that crew. 15 and a half seconds. But no money. But no money. 
99 or better in the BP Challenge. Did you ever get your money back from those guys this morning? Oh, yeah, they get it back from oh, every time. Mark Martin, second in the NASCAR Winston Cup Championship. Coming into today's race, now the leader of the Tropicana 400. He's 77 points behind Sterling Marlin, coming into this halfway mark of the season race.